Hi kings and queens, it's your girl Anifa Nee and I am here with the edit video. Today is the day, it is Ramadan. I'm super excited, Ramadan Mubarak to all my brothers and sisters. And to all my kings and queens or subscribers who don't know what Ramadan is, I'll explain it to you, I don't mind. Um, Ramadan is a month long holiday for Muslims where we fast every day for 30 days. Basically, from sunrise to sunset, we can't eat, so no food, no water, not even a spoon of applesauce, none of that when the sun is out, period. I'm really excited about the month. The month is basically where we just give thanks to God for all the things that he gave us. Just remember God, you know, just give thanks for everything. Just show a lot of gratitude. Just time to reflect on everything. And especially this year, I feel like I, God has blessed me so much this year and I'm so grateful. And I definitely want to get back into my Dean and just like do this Ramadan and, you know, fast, you know, read the Quran, learn things that I didn't know. I'm excited for it. And so I have like 15 goals that I'm gonna try to do. Well, that I am gonna do, speaking into existence, child. I am going to do, I wrote down 15 goals. Let me get straight to it. My first goal, I have this goal I've been trying to work on, but I'm definitely going to work on it is to not curse since we're fasting i don't want to be cursing and i did pretty good even when i was in traffic because sometimes your girl like me can have a potty mouth not gonna lie that's just one of my weaknesses and i'm definitely working on it this ramadan touche all right goal number two for me is to fast this whole month of ramadan i know it'll be difficult when i have my son because like my son he's a boy and he likes to eat my baby could eat like eggs yeah, I look like he a grown man. Like, he loves to eat. He be making me hungry. <laughs> so that'll probably be hard. Like, I have to explain to him, like, why I'm not eating. He'll probably be like, man, why you not eating? So, no. And just introducing him to, like, Ramadan this month is going to be super duper exciting and you know just showing him our a little bit of our culture now that he can really really understand it he's four now so he asks his questions and i took him to the mosque last friday for the first time and he did surprisingly well he did really good i was so proud of my baby all right goal number three i definitely want to improve on my self-talk and just being kind to myself like oh girl i really have to say my affirmations because i get carried away and just be so mean to myself oh i'm so fat oh you can't fit into that uh -uh, uh 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 no i'm beautiful i'm loved i'm grateful i'm you know i'm strong you know like affirmations definitely gonna work on that this month during the month of ramadan and just to take it throughout the rest of the months now goal number four for me is to read the quran i downloaded this app where they read the quran to you in english and in arabic which has been helpful but i definitely want to sit down and read the the holy book for us to read the quran every day you know and understand it i definitely want to read and get a vivid and better understanding this year of it definitely you know go to the source and just read it so number five for me it won't be hard because i already kind of started to get me mentally prepared for ramadan is to detach from social media and not you know like not get that validation from others i don't really have to be on social media every day and i've been definitely like looking into my screen time or how long that i've been on social media or just being on my phone period just detach from it put it down be present in the moment and things like that for this Ramadan and you know try to do it throughout my day and it's been pretty good so far also is to touch from negative media like there's this show on the network Showtime called The Shy like for Chicago and like I really want to like just watch it because I missed the whole season one so I wanted to binge watch but I'll wait till the month of Ramadan it'll still be there because it's kind of negative people dying and then like the news they don't post as much positive stuff that the world has going on they basically just focus on the negative so I'm definitely gonna detach from that and the seventh thing it's attached from negative influences like if you have a friend that's negative or somebody who can influence you to do the wrong thing during the month of Ramadan you know just eat the sandwich it tastes so good 
uh-uh, I don't need to be around you right now because I'm fast and I can't eat. I can't drink your smoothie. I know it's probably good from Tropical Smoothie, but I can't have it right now. Just, you know, remove those two for the month of Ramadan. Or if you need to remove them from your life, do that. So, <laughs> number eight for me is self-discipline. Getting out of bed. Ooh, child, I'm so hungry. I don't want to fast today. I'm just going to eat this bowl of cereal. I ain't got time. No. I'm gonna be strong, okay? I'm gonna have self-discipline. That's my goal. I'm gonna speak it into existence. <laughs> now, goal number nine for me is to attend the masjid, to attend Juma. Like the mosque that I grew up going to, I'm trying not to be so judgmental of it, but last Friday when I went, I didn't leave with anything that I could, you know, use throughout the week. Like I didn't learn anything. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I need to go to another mosque because there's plenty of other mosques. There's a mosque on 6th Street. There's a mosque in Tampa, and I don't mind driving. I am a professional truck driver, by the way. But my goal is to attend Juma, attend the night prayers, you know, when we break the fast. Also attend Talim, which is on Sundays. So, yes, introduce my son to it, teach my son his prayers in Arabic as well as English. I have to learn them in English. I know them in Arabic. It's so crazy. Well, not crazy because I'm not going to be judgmental of myself, but I know my prayers in Arabic. I just don't know what I'm saying in English. So, I have to learn it. I have to start out a little bit, but it's Ramadan. It's a refresh. Yes. So, goal number 10 for me is to write in my gratitude journal every day because there is so much for me to be thankful for. Just look around. Like, I have a beautiful home. I can see. I can hear. I can talk to y'all. I can move my hands. You know, I can drive. Like, so much for me to be grateful for. My son is in good health. I'm in good health. My brothers and sisters, we have a good relationship. I'm able to call them or text them. I have good friends that I talk to on a weekly basis. It's so much for me to be grateful for. So I need to write down in my gratitude journal just to be grateful. It's the month of Ramadan. Why not? Number 11, my goal is to practice patience. That is one of my weaknesses, but I'm going to make it a strength because that's my goal to make it a strength this Ramadan. So be patient. Take a time. Take a deep breath. It's not all of that. You know, <laughs> just think about it before I say something mean or start yelling or honking my horn. Just be patient, be calm, be loving. It's Ramadan. <laughs> okay, goal number 13 for me is, what's that, 13? No, that wasn't. This is number 12. Dress modest. Y'all see me, I'm wrapped all over, I'm covered, you know, a little bit of my arm showing or whatever, but my legs is covered. I want to dress modest. So I might need to go to the stores and get me some, some, you know, get me some clothing because your girl loves booty shorts. Uh -huh. No, I'm just kidding. But I do like short shorts, not booty shorts. My booty don't be out. But I like shorts. I like wearing tights. You know, I like, you know, tank tops and all that. No. The month of Ramadan, I'm going to dress modest, cover my arms, cover my neck, cover my head, try to wear a hijab, go buy a bias from Tampa, wrap all over, not showing as much skin, try to be as modest as I can, that's my goal. Goal number 13 is to be kind to others. I definitely want to be kind to others, even think kind of others because sometimes I could be so judgmental and I think that's for everybody like you know if somebody be looking crazy on the street you'd be like oh what's wrong with them I ain't gotta say that just just be kind just so not be judgmental and be kind to others be patient to others because it's the slow guy at my new job he is so slow checking us in and sometimes I be aggravated but I don't have to be aggravated just be nice talk to them a little chit chat just be kind to others during the month of ramadan and try to take it throughout the rest of the year all right goal number 14 now is no gossiping mind my business so i'm really good at minding my business but other people bring it to me so then it's like uh but even when other people bring it to me, I don't have to think about it as much or go tell somebody else. So I can stop gossiping for the month of Ramadan. And also, you know, when it comes to me, I don't have to tell anybody else. I can just really mind my business. 
mind the business that pays me. I really am good at that anyways, but I can improve it a tweak. So that's what I'll be practicing during the month of Ramadan. And goal number 15, this is the last goal, y'all. Detach from negative music. So music with a lot of cussing, you know, 21 Savage or Gucci Man, Future. I really like to listen to them. But I'm going to detach from it. You know, I could listen to something else or just jazz music or just the Quran when I'm driving, which I did this morning, and it wasn't that bad. Um, I listened to the the app I was telling you about, the app, the Quran, that reads it to you in English and in Arabic. So it wasn't that hard for me to do. But, you know, I love my 21 Savage rap ass, cap ass, battery in the back, ass. You know, you want to be like that, playing, get your... I can cut it though. <laughs> so yeah, those were my goals for Ramadan 2019. I'm super excited about it and I'll be coming on probably not as much during the month of Ramadan. I won't be posting, but I definitely want to get on at least two times a week for y'all. So make sure y'all comment down in the comment box. Make sure you also comment down in the comment box as well as look in the description box. I get a lot of comments on where people can find me at okay so all my socials are down there in the description box right now you can find me on instagram snapchat uh, facebook <laughs> twitter and also my music you can catch it on spotify apple music um itunes google play amazon yeah just type in nifa me and you'll find all of my music on there i'm actually getting in the studio may 25th with this artist i haven't met before but you know, he asked me to get on a song. Sure, I'll make a verse. That's nothing. That's fun to me. So, you know, I finished the verse same day. And he was like, okay, I'll set it up. Is this time good for you? Sure, yeah. So, I might have studio vlog coming for y'all as well. So, thank you so much for subscribing. I do appreciate all my queens and my kings. I do appreciate you guys. All my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. You know, I'm Nifa Nee. We discuss on my channel trucking as well as self-development and much much more and just the introduction to me and everything that i bring to the table and i really do appreciate you i love you make sure you know who you are no matter what you know your self-worth because you are worthy of love you're worthy for everything make sure you know who you are i'll just leave with that and you guys have a good ramadan ramadan mubarak Mwah. bye